What up, what up, fam? It's your man, Big Al from the Al and <laughs> Tony Show. Sitting there with my boy, comedian J Raz of the Al and Tony Show. Good talk show right? <laughs> hey, look, this particular show of the Al and <laughs> Show. <laughs> the Al we <laughs> we got a very, very special treat to sit down and talk with Miss uh, DC. USA. Miss DC USA 2010. Very smart, very bright, very beautiful woman, y'all. We, we hope to touch on, you know, what it means for this particular pageant, what it means to the other ladies in America with regard to what beauty is, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, a lot of people don't know we have a Miss DC, but we do. It's every year, Miss DC, once, you know, that person wins, they go to Nationals to compete to be Miss USA, period. Y'all just Miss DC USA, Miss USA. So y'all, a lot of y'all didn't know that. Yeah, check out the interview we just did with Miss DC. You're going to love it. Let your little girls watch it. What up, what up, good people? It's your man, Big Al, Big Swole, the Al and Tony Show, sitting in with my dude, comedian Jay Raz, in the building. Yo, we got something real, real special for you guys. The very beautiful, the, the talented, the trailblazing Miss Mackenzie Green, Miss uh, District of Columbia, USA. Is that, is that yes, I do right? Exactly. That's perfect. <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> a phenomenal representative for the District of Columbia. So how you doing? Doing good, doing good. What are you doing? What's going on with you? Well, right now I'm a senior at the University of Miami in my last semester. So even though that sounds a little strange that I'm in Miami and represent DC, I commute back and forth quite oh, okay. frequently. Right. But I'm working on getting my diploma for my double major. I'm doing tons of stuff at school and, mm. and still trying to be a pageant girl. And I'm in a sorority, all kinds of stuff. I try to do everything. What was the, the engine that got you to get into the whole pageant thing? What, what made you think to do it? Well, I'm definitely not a pageant baby. I did not come out of the pageant patty world. I was a jock all my life. I was a swimmer. I was an equestrian. I did tons of stuff. And then out of nowhere on my 20th birthday, I came up with a list of things I wanted to do, or like I like to call it my fifth of a life crisis. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Explain. <laughs> So you plan on living a hundred years? Right? <laughs> right, okay, okay. I, plan, I plan on being. Yeah, okay. I plan on being hundred okay, years old. Okay. How many people make your twenties sound like it's this decade that's supposed to change your life and shape the person that you are? Mm -hmm. So I wanted to figure out everything that I wanted to do in my twenties. I figured if I get to my thirties, I want to have great stories like my parents have to tell my kids and all this stuff of things I did. So. Uh, meeting before we decided before we started the show, Mama made mention of her Bentley money. Which I thought was hilarious, you know what I'm saying? In other words, what she was really saying is that the parents make a great sacrifice when their yeah. children decide to, yeah. you know, when I they want to want their kids to follow their, follow their dreams. Absolutely. Right. I mean, my parents have always kind of, if I had the dream of it and I was serious and I could show them that I was serious, like with the pageant, they wanted to know how much did I really want to do this. Was right. I doing this because I wanted people to tell me I was pretty or was I doing this to make a change? And when I showed them that, you know, they were behind it, you know, team green, that's what we are. But wow. I always okay. tell people though, I try to be return on investment. If my mom's going to spend, green, I like if she, but my mom's, my attitude is if they're going to spend that, that Bentley money, I want to be a return on investment. Right. And so when they looked up on that stage and they put the crown on my head, you know, they were getting returned tenfold. Well, they exactly. Wow. <laughs> Let's talk about the disparity in, in what the the nation looks at as beauty in those pageants. I think honestly that's what I love so much about the Miss DC pageant is when you come, it's not just a black thing. It's, you know, you have Latina women up there, you have Asian Americans, you have African Americans, you've got biracial girls, you've got girls that, when they are black, become a wide array of hues. That's what I love, that when people walk through that door, you get to see the beauty that is DC. Because DC is such a melting pot, it is, it is. that that's what makes it so great. Wow. And a lot of people, a lot of people don't know that. They think, okay, Miss DC, gotta be somebody black, you know, but, yeah. you know, Chocolate that's, City, baby. Right, you say Chocolate City, but, you know, what you're saying is, that's not always the case. It and could I, be anyone. I think what's so also great is DC has picked a lot of black winners. And I definitely make no apology for that. You no. know, nobody asks the state of Florida, how come you guys have only had one black winner in your 80 something year history of this pageant existing? Wow. I don't know how the room is true about the whole, you know, taping up things and... Uh, yes. Oh, like... Yes. And, and, things, uh, things are put into places that they need to be okay. put into. Okay. Okay. There is a wonderful thing called double-sided tape and butt glue that everybody invested. Wait, wait, wait. What was that last one? <laughs> butt glue. Butt, butt glue. glue. Next show. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's tape for your booty? It's tape to make sure your swimsuit doesn't ride up while you're walking down the runway in the swimsuit portion. Because nobody wants a wardrobe malfunction in the middle of the patch. Well, at least none of the directors and females in the crowd. I don't right. know about the men. On the Alan Tony show, we're all right with wardrobe malfunctions. 
for the ladies. <laughs> right, right. Well, then, I'm glad you cleared yeah, that up, y'all. Yeah. All right. So you go out and, and you guys, what about the exercise part of it? Because I know for a lot of this modeling and pageantry thing, you got to deal with the um, bulimia and, and yeah. anorexia. Women striving so hard, a little girl striving so hard to meet these unrealistic examples of what they believe beauty is. How did that, did that impact you or? It is really frustrating. You kind of get into this place where everybody seems to look the same or they look nothing like you or you can't really relate to them. My biggest thing is I wanted to be healthy. I knew if I won it, I was going to be a role model. And what kind of role model would I be talking to some fifth grade girl telling me how to be healthy and then I'm running home and living off of nothing but coffee and some celery sticks. So wow. I stayed healthy. I mean, I come from a family that is very into empowering the person. So I came with healthy habits and moderation and I'm not going to give up things I love. My hold grandma on, makes good food. Hot grandma, he go to them ham hocks now, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the turkey necks and them greens now, baby. I know you modeling and everything, but you're looking skinny. <laughs> The fellas, how do fellas treat treating you after you know your fineness has been recognized? I guess either you have some that are completely intimidated by the mm. idea that you are certified as a beauty queen, and others that could care less. First date, who pays? He pays. Why? A gentleman pays. What if you ask? But you're supposed to do the you know the check tango where you say, oh no 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 let me do it, and he goes, no 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 let me have it. Uh, but I think the problem is is that when you all expect us to be gentlemen and we turn around and expect y'all to be young ladies, we don't get that back. Well, I can't speak for everybody, but right. myself, I was raised right, so mm -hmm. if you treat me like a gentleman, I will treat you as right. a real woman. Messed up, oh, I'm not no. If, if oh, a man um, has bad table manners. Table manners? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. I mean, there's a certain place and time for everything. If we go eat at my family's house or there's a backyard barbecue, I don't expect you to know all the different forks and knives. I mean, we have our fine plastic for certain family occasions. Fine too. plastic. Fine plastic. <laughs> Fine but definitely, you know, it matters. I mean, those are things you can teach somebody. Are you really going to throw somebody out of your life just because when you sit down at the table, they have no idea why there are three forks sitting in front of them? No, I, I mean, the whole, the let's say, okay, you saw, uh, what was that movie? Um, with the dude be boxing at the table and oh you mean like you mean like oh you mean like I mean, Joanna I mean, Man like, style yeah, like like, that. like <laughs> right right I love that movie by the way Joanna Man Joanna yes. Man I have because smoke, that smoke. line when he's like country got the crazy okay three five seven that's the best stymie me that that's when you're going country country got you crazy okay three five seven young lady wants to flip Nick Nan. You know, that is the Nan. best thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So, out there, pressing the flesh, meeting people and saying, you know what? You know, any, you know, you're all beautiful. We're yes, all, we're all beautiful. Yes, I'm not, I'm not the cookie cutter beautiful. Exactly. I am me. Beautiful. I'm Mackenzie beautiful. Exactly. And that's wow. what I want people to get though. It's not, I mean. Oh, you, you got the hands saying. Oh, my bad. Kind of, kind of reached that. Uh, <laughs> and that's the biggest thing to me is, like you said, it's it's me individually. Like if I meet a little girl, she's pretty for her. Right. You know, I hate when they ask me, well, what do you do to be pretty? It doesn't matter what I do. What I do is what, what I have done. What is unique about you and what makes you stand out? And that is what I think as not being a pageant girl that I have learned from pageantry is trying to find the beauty in you mm. and showing other people, this is why I'm extraordinary, why I'm exceptional and why I should represent, you know, the most powerful city in the world. You are beautiful, no matter what they say. He, you know what? He like Eminem and 50 now, because every video we do, he got to sing now. Uh, come on, go, you want to finish? You good? All right, so. Well, can't bring us now. No, 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 don't give me my spotlight. Because you're beautiful. Let's see here, and I don't know what that is, but we're going to work it's on it. It's just that I can learn. Yeah, it is. That's what I was thinking. I was, I was, I listen to the black radio stations. I don't know what that is, but look, now y'all gonna do yeah. a handshake. Yeah, now y'all yeah, got yeah. a little handshake. <laughs> like, like the State Farm commercial. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> the pageant is coming up, right? Yes, the pageant is coming up November 28th. Okay. It's going to be at the JW Marriott at 5 p.m. And okay. I definitely want the district to turn out. I think right. at the end of the day, people who may be watching this are thinking, whoa, that's the girl that stood out there for a year and mm -hmm. represented me. I mean, I think people need to meet their representative. When she goes to Miss USA, when people look at her, they're thinking, is that what everybody's like? They speak like that, they right. carry themselves like that. So come out and meet her, see when she has that moment. So, so it's, it's November 28th, mm -hmm. it is at the JW Marriott 5 p.m. 
5 p.m. Um, and let's see, what are tickets? What are tickets to get in? There? Tickets, I believe, at the door are $40, but in advance are $35. Okay. Well, I want to just take a, a second to thank you for coming on the show, Miss McKenzie. She's absolutely beautiful, absolutely well-deserving of the Miss DC title.